Hello Cancer, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes and welcome to the channel. This is going to be a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone. Please take what resonates and leave the rest alone or you may want to look at your moon and rising signs for clarity. Okay, we have the fates. So blessings coming, fated events, people, event, uh, people cross, crossing your path. Number eight, it's a spiritual, it's a knowledge card. You're going to gain a lot from this. So beautiful fated events ahead. Things that are meant to happen. Some people call it coincidences. I don't believe in coincidences. Be assertive. Be very sure of what you're wanting here. Very sure. Be very clear-headed here. And a year from now. So there's a timeline with this. We'll see what the tarot says. We'll see what this is all about. But it's beautiful because you can see the rainbows in her wings there. It's, it's blessings that are coming forward. Things that are meant to happen that are going to help you go forward. Beautiful. This is what the tarot says. If this doesn't resonate with you, there is a playlist for November on my channel with loads of messages there. It will be November's, but gradually over the months, December's will uh, it will build up. There's the Two of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Page of Wands, the King of Wands. The overall central energy here is the Hanged Man. The Eight of Cups, the Fool, the Four of Cups, the Page of Cups. So what we've got here is we have got boredom. We're feeling bored. We're not impressed with what's being offered to us. You can see the Hand of the Divine offering you blessings here, but you're not sure about them. It's about being, assert it's about being assertive. Definitely. So you're looking at these things and you're thinking, this isn't for me. I'm not sure about this here. It's not came in the package that I envisaged it to be. So it could be an opportunity that somebody's presenting you with a love opportunity here that you might want to consider. But it's maybe not somebody who's your type. There could be an apology coming forward as well. And you're not sure how you want to deal with that either. So it could be... Um, could be job opportunities as well that you're not impressed by, but these are fated events. These are things, there's nothing and no one crosses your path, Cancer, unless it's meant for you. Nothing misses you that's meant for you. Now, what we've got here is we've got this Eight of Cups uh, energy where there's something missing in your life and you're bored with it now. So something's on its course. Could be that you're you should be, you know, your job's not fulfilling you, your relationships, are, your relationship's not fulfilling you. And what Spirit's saying here is don't be so wrapped up and bored that you're not seeing the opportunities that could be presented either. But everything's a blessing that comes onto your path and so is everyone. They're there to teach you something about yourself. So please don't look a gift horse in the mouth here. These are fated events. They're meant to happen. So please have a look. They're worth considering here because that could be your missing cup. See, this cup could be your wish fulfillment here because he's walking for the eight towards the nine, which is contentment. So this could be the missing cup that you're looking for. So always, always be open to considering anything that's coming forward. Now, what Spirit's saying here, the overall energy is your perception needs to be looked at here. So you need to be more sure of what you're wanting, not bored. You need to look at everything and every angle. Now, it can be that you're feeling a bit stuck and bored as well because nothing's happening. Because this guy's in limbo here. He's hanging from the tree of knowledge, though. So what Spirit's doing is they're holding you in this energy so that you can learn things. You can learn what you like and what you don't like, if I can put it to you that way. So what he's doing here is hanging from this tree. He's in limbo. He's stuck there until he learns and gains knowledge about how to go forward. And if you look at everything from every perspective and you look at everything as a blessing, you will start to see the way forward. You'll gain enlightenment. And what will happen is you'll start to want to take a leap of faith towards new things. Now, these opportunities and blessings that are being presented to you, although you might not be impressed, you've actually made good choices for yourself in the past and you're more than capable of doing it again. But these opportunities a year from now could have had a massive impact on your life. Because what Spirit's wanting you to do is learn here, gain knowledge about something. There's a light bulb moment and they're wanting you to take a leap of faith forward towards finding 
wish fulfillment and contentment. So they're wanting to leave behind things that are no longer fulfilling you here and have the strength and the courage to go forward. Now, he's starting from ground zero here. So he's he's ready to, to take that leap of faith, but he's travelling light. He's leaving these challenges behind him. He's not taking them all with him. So it's about taking that leap of faith, being assertive, understanding that everything that crosses your path, it must be considered or should be considered. Everybody's got the right freedom of choice here. Spirit wants you to consider them because it could bring a lot of joy and it could move you towards happiness here. And this is about your happiness. Pages are the start of happiness. So, you know, there could be more to these situations than you're giving them credit for. They could grow into they could grow into your wish fulfillment. They could bring you a lot of contentment in life further down the line. And what it could do is it could bring you into alignment with yourself. This is a beautiful balanced energy here. Now, it's about going towards what we're passionate about, most definitely. So we're always creating things that, you know, that we're passionate about. We want to be inspired. Now, I know that this you're not inspired over this here. But like I say, there, it's worth considering because there could be growth in this. It's a fated thing or a fated person. And there could be growth for you here. And what could happen is you could start to build things out of this that you never envisaged. Because he's a very creative energy. He's using his skills here. He knows what his skill set is. And he's using it to build beautiful things. So this unexpected person that's not, for example, I'm going to give you, is maybe not your type, could turn out to be somebody who could become a very attractive proposition. Could be a very creative person. It could be somebody who's arty. Um, it, this is uh, ones that are Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius energy. So it could be somebody that's finding you very attractive as well, you see. Um, but this could grow into something far greater. But it's about being assertive. It's about being positive. It's about understanding here, looking at everything from every perspective, considering it and then seeing the beauty in it as well. Seeing the beauty in this person or this proposition that's being presented to you because there's a lot of growth here. And you can invest yourself in this. So this could be, for example, it could be a new job or a new course or a new opportunity that's coming in. You never considered it before. But it's maybe time to look at new things because you're absolutely bored and there's something missing in your life. So any creative opportunity that comes along. You also might be bored and think, I would never be able to use my skills. You know, I've not got a good skill set. Learn something new. It's maybe time to learn something new. Start up your own business, developing a skill you have. But it's about having the confidence to take that leap of faith forward to new creative ideas for yourself. So you've always got tools in your bag. You're gifted. Everybody's gifted. It's time to use these gifts to create beautiful things. Play to your strengths here. Take your creative side. What are you passionate about? Now, this could also, like I say, it could be somebody who finds you attractive and you're not impressed by it. But this is something that could be a very good. It doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. This could, somebody, it could be somebody who turns out to be a very good friend and a loving, caring person in your life. Or if it's a romantic person, this is someone who is on the same page as you. You could turn out to have a, a really good, loving, well-balanced relationship with them. And things can grow. We're going for the page to the king here. So the more you look at them, the more you're involved with them, the more you take to do with them, the more attractive they can appear. Or the more attractive a proposition can appear. So this is beautiful energy. Because this person sees the world through your eyes. They're on the same wavelength as you. And they've got the same expectations and values as you do have. So it could be a beautiful, passionate, loving, caring relationship. Now, whatever it is that we're talking about here, whatever it is for you here, it's about laying solid foundations for your future. And it's about a collaborative energy. So if we're bored in our job, it's time to think about what we want to go towards now. Uh, like I say, the small opportunities that we maybe never considered before could suddenly become attractive to us. And we could be laying solid foundations. We could be becoming part of a new team. We've got a lot of support there. We work together to create solid foundations for the future. We could be this person that we're talking about, friendship or romantic person. This friend could end up a very good business partnership as well. We work together. You're investing things for your future. You're prepared to be positive, be assertive. You know exactly what you're looking for now. You can see the beauty in things and you're ready to lay this solid foundation uh, together. Now, anything that's laid on solid foundations will be uh, that it's stable, it will grow and prosper. So any hard work you're putting in here. Now, this could be in any area of life. It could be with your finances. It could be over your work. It could be your relationships or your environments, whatever it is you're wanting to create here. But if you work together with people here, you will definitely lay solid foundations for the future. And a year from now, you're going to see the benefits. We really see the benefits of laying these solid foundations here. 
So beautiful energy here, Cancer. Nothing and no one crosses your path unless it's meant for you. Purity. Beautiful purity. Always trust in the purity of your heart. Look inside your heart and within it, you will find the answer to your questions. Absolutely. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.